As the COVID-19 pandemic threat continues to soar in the country, the virus is being felt at our doorsteps. Kenya is now in its third wave. As the positivity rate, the country remains high. On this 25th day of March 2021, we speak to political players at a time where they have been blamed for leading huge mass gatherings despite the onset of the pandemic. However, on our discussion tonight, we will also discuss the newly formed alliance marrying ANC, Wiper, Ford Kenya and Kano principles. Who will the principles front for the top seat the 2022 general election? And why did they leave behind their former core partner, Raila Odinga? This playing out from the deputy president, William Ruto, hitting out possibilities of working with the former premier, Raila Odinga. We have so much to talk about this evening. And to help us break down this march is our G Women Rep for Tumagedi, who will be joining, joining us in a moment. Kaiti Member of Parliament, Joshua Kimilu, and politician and political expert, Milton Lucheri. You, of course, our fourth panelist, sending your feedback, comments through our SMS line, triple one, triple four, triple one, on our social media handles at Switch TV Kenya, a link on Mbogo to keep this show as interactive as possible. Remember to use the hashtag tipping point. My name is Lincoln Obogwa. Our sign language interpreters tonight are Michael Maithia and Teresia Washira. But first, we start the show with this bite by One Kenya Alliance. With a clear purpose to unite this country through a transformative agenda that seeks to create equal opportunities for all Kenyans. This alliance is a bridge is a breath of fresh air from the toxic and divisive politics this country has witnessed in the recent past. The One Kenya Alliance comes together and we invite anybody and everybody who wants a united Kenya to come on board. Would you support a Ruto Raila Alliance come 2022? Would you support a Ruto Raila Alliance come 2022? SMS us on triple one triple four triple one at Switch TV Kenya and at Link Wombogo on Twitter. Hashtag use the hashtag tipping point. Now, uh, my guest tonight, uh, Kaiti Member of Parliament Joshua Kimilu and uh, uh, Lucheri. Yes. Milton Lucheri, a politician and political expert. Exactly. Fatima Gedi, what Jerry Menrep will be joining us in a moment. But to, before we even answer that, this new alliance, they say, is a breath of fresh air. A breath of fresh air. They have left out Raila Odinga. I don't know why. They have added in uh, Gideon Moy. <coughs> Maybe he has more following than Raila Odinga. I do not know. But this new alliance, is this what Kenya needs to move away from divisive politics? Meshmir? Yeah, um, I think uh, what we are seeing today is the beginning of things. And I want to say that uh, being a WIPA member, uh, I want to say that uh, I'm happy because of this alliance, because um, we have uh, some of our politicians are not honest. They are trying to, be, to show uh, now they are dishonest. Uh, and that's why this alliance are coming, and I support the alliance. And I want to say that to the Kenyans that um, even more things are coming because like uh, we were in NASA, I was in NASA in 2017 mm -hmm. and we campaigned as NASA and uh, after we failed, we did not uh, get the seat, but we can see what is happening like now, uh, Clovis Malala who was the minority, was removed, that shows dishonest from Hodium. So I'm very sure that um, with such and not, uh, uh, being not honest to the other partners, we cannot go far. So you're so, saying, so you're saying categorically that ODM in NASA were dishonest, and that is why you left yes, Raila Odinga in these yes. new lines. And um, we cannot see even in the, from the region, right, and where I come from, mm -hmm. you cannot uh, sell Laila there. No one can even support it. You can't sell Raila Odinga in Kambani. You can't. You can't. You can't. I'm telling you, we are supported him for ten good years, in and after supporting for good ten good years, he did not even reward Campus. I remember 2017 after getting uh, what we got. Um, he the, wasn't in government? Yes, he wasn't in he the government. He still is But you remember, government. after campaigning and uh, got all uh, many seats for ODM, reason they got all those seats because of this alliance. But what because reward, the, what on, reward are you talking about? What we wanted, know? what we wanted, yes. you know, like uh, they denied us the money. What the money? Uh -huh. You know, after NASA, we could have divided the money together for NASA, for ODM, WIPA, ANC. ODM took Kenya. the whole opposition The uh, ODM took everything. Thank so you. how can we support such a, uh, such a leader? Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you much, Mirun Joshua. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you agree, Milton? Uh, I strongly Is this disagree. Alliance, what uh, Kenya needs. I strongly disagree, but even before I echo my sentiments, uh, first of all, I want to uh, wish our national team, which is playing mm -hmm. against uh, the Pharaoh uh, this evening, I want to wish them all the best in that uh, uh, match. Uh, now on to the, the motion of the day. Um, Wetangula said something there that uh, I almost laughed. What, because what did he say? He says that um, it is a breath of fresh air. What's funny into, about that? Into, into, into the politics. Because uh -huh. um, these are the same caliber of people who are there in 2013. They were there in 2017. They were there in 20, uh, 2007. They were there in 2002. So uh, for them to come out and say that they are uh, a breath of fresh air, it is, uh, it is melodramatic. To say the so? least, yeah, to say, to say the least, it's melodramatic. Uh, that is one point. Second thing is that um, this alliance has not come on board on ideologies. It has come on board based on the mere fact that it's a coalition of weeping partners. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's just like uh, uh, five children in a room, they are being oppressed by their elder brother, and then they gang up against this one particular brother. So basically, it's not about policies. It's not about ideologies. It's about uh, ODM did, did this, so we have to do this in order to counter them, in order to show that we can chat out on our own. So I want to fault this alliance because it's not based on merit. It's not based on any particular ideology. I don't know whether they have manifested. They have not told us what they stand for. They have just said it's a fresh, uh, a breath of fresh air. That is two. Three, um, we we have we have uh, members who are affiliated to this coalition. They have tried several times in their strongholds to portray to Kenyans that they indeed have the support base of of of, of their region. For example, they just concluded uh, Matungo election. You see the way Musalia went there and camped there the entire week with his brigade. You know, you don't need to campaign so hard in your, in your political base. And then when they won, he comes out and he started celebrating. How do you celebrate when your wife comes back? You don't say that, uh, you don't celebrate that I've, 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 um, I've kept my wife. You only celebrate when you've married a second wife, okay? So that is the same case at, at, um, uh, in, in some of these strongholds, yeah? Uh, Ukambani, not Ukambani, Machakos, mm -hmm. uh, last week we saw, um, Wiper came out very strongly celebrating. What are you celebrating? Because uh, Machakos is basically a, a Wiper stronghold. If Wiper went out and uh, won in Matungu, then I'll, I'll say that is the reason to celebrate. But you don't celebrate because of you've retained your seat. So I just wanted to say those three things about this particular alliance. Moshmua, he yes. says, Lucheri says, you have no manifesto. Um, Do you have a manifesto? I want to disagree with my brother. And uh, he's talking of how Matungu, uh, Msalia was celebrating. Mm -hmm. But charity begins at home. If you fail to maintain what you are first mm -hmm. before you go outside there, you cannot say that you, are, uh, you have won. But what I'm saying is that uh, this alliance, uh, we cannot say that we don't have, we don't have my manifesto. What because is your manifesto this like? Is, this is now the beginning of things now. We are uh, arranging ourselves. Like when I was uh, watching news today, uh, Ruto said that there's a possibility of him working with Raila. What's wrong with that? I, I'm, I'm not saying there's an, uh, anything wrong. Mm -hmm. But now you cannot say uh, Ruto working with Raila. There is no manifesto. For one, you know, once first thing is to form the coalition, come up, sit down, bring, because each leader has his own manifesto, bring the manifesto together. Think because you know, like uh, Carlos has come out and say that uh, we need to raise the economy of this country 24 hours economy. Those are some of the need. And first, you bring them together, then you sell out to Kenyans. So, this is the beginning. And I cannot say that we don't have manifesto, we'll share the manifesto when the time comes. And again, now, uh, winning Machakos, for example, winning Machakos in Ukambani that shows that how strong Weber is, is backyard. And from there, it's going outside, look for faults from other communities. No one can win in this country without uh, use, uh, going around and uh, looking for faults from other community. We need all the community together to come together for a win. And again, I want to assure you that come to 2022, it will be a coalition. 
no uh, it's already a coalition already it's a coalition so now mm -hmm. our coalition if you see uh, Kalonzo Musyoka uh, Wetangula and uh, uh, Mzali Mdavad and Gideon Mon that is a, a, a strong alliance and for your information we'll go to uh, Central we also go to Coast because uh, also the Coast is there mm -hmm. there's something cooking and soon there's something cooking there's something cooking so soon we we'll announce that? What's, what's cooking yeah, uh, Kosi will join us. Wait and see. With a new party? With a new party. There's a new party coming from Kosi. Is in Coast ODM? I'm telling you, no, no, no. Kosi is not ODM. You have seen what happened uh, for uh, uh, Musabweni. So you cannot say Kosi is uh, ODM. You saw when Laila went there. What happened? What happened? Uh, people are shifting from ODM because they have seen. For example, just uh, see what happened during um, Wetangula's uh, he was removed and imagine he went round this country campaigning for the NASA and after all the agreements that he'll be given the uh, minority he was removed. Kimilo let me ask you a question mm -hmm. you've talked of uh, Mr. Bweni and Ruto's person one mm -hmm. uh, one alliance says that you know looking at what happened in uh, Kabuchai in Matungu and uh, of course, in Michakos the other day when Agnes Kavindu clinched the seat, they say that this is a reflection of 2022. Mm. Is it really a reflection of 2022? It's a reflection. You're positive that you're going to take the whole country? Uh, yes. Uh, le 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 let me, it's just a simple ca uh, calculation. Mm. And you need to do maths here. Mm -hmm. You see, Canvas, we have, um, the force we have in Canva, mm -hmm. we are number four in this country. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have lawyers who has numbers. We have uh, uh, costs, mm -hmm. and also we'll get Central. I don't want to mention, but you know, Central is ours. Obvious, you know, you know. So the alliance is heading there. So I'm telling you, once mm -hmm. you compare these numbers, because politics are about numbers, nothing else. Um, he says that you know yeah. he agrees with one alliance. He's yeah. a member of one alliance. Mm -hmm. He says that you know Matungu, Kabuchai, mm -hmm. and uh, Machakos. Mm -hmm. It's a reflection of the outcome come 2022. Do you uh, think this is the case? I want to disagree strongly. I want to disagree with, with that um, because one, um, first of all, I, I, I want to disagree with the chain of thought and, and his premise. Uh, Mwishmiwa, I know you, you are elected from your constituent. You are not elected on a, a national scale. Mm. So maybe your chain of thought uh, revolves around the many people who uh, selected you or elected you. But now when it comes to national politics, and uh, we are trying to move away from the politics of this tribe versus this tribe. We connect this tribe, we add this tribe, we get a little bit here, we take these swing votes, and then we put them together, and then we form a national outfit. I think that is a archaic politic that has been bypassed. Right now we are looking at a, politi um, a party or political formation that has a national outlook and, and a, 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 a political formation that is based on ideology and policy and the agendas. What is this? So far do we have that? We, we are going to do for the people. I would like to commend, I'm very neutral in this matter, but mm -hmm. I'd like to commend one of um, uh, the parties that are coming on board and that is the, uh, the PDR, the former PDR, now UDA. Um, if you look at its um, uh, composition, it cuts across the, the entire spectrum of the, of the country. It looks at the rich, it looks at the poor, it looks at everybody, it looks at all the tribe. There is no, uh, there is no particular person because they are of this particular income or income bracket, they are very uh, uh, poorly paid that they belong to a particular tribe. No, if it's poor pay, poor pay affects everybody, all tribes across the, 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 the divide. So, um, and if there's a political party that can harness this power, and form its ideologies on these particular people, then it is a, a, a political party that will be accepted nationally. Th the, the things of saying that we will make this tribe and make this tribe, you know, those are old numbers. Right now we have new numbers. And the new numbers is the people that matter, uh, do they get enough food? Do they, get, uh, do they have enough infrastructure? Uh, what is the base minimum wage do we need to give to them? Uh, to the house girls and you know those kind of things now that is the new numbers that we want and uh, uh, Luckily UDA is, is in that kind of uh, business. So I think we need to move away from the, the, the tribal numbers 
flag bearer, flag bearer. Thank Kimilu. you. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me say this, um, and I think it deals with uh, an evidence, uh -huh. not just saying it. And uh, when you talk of UDA, of this issue of narrative of Asala Pass's dynasty, because my brother is heading there, and I want to say that um, this is a narrative which, as Kenyan, we need to abolish it. We need to deal with it. Because I remember, before I become a member of parliament... State your reasons. Yeah, let me give uh, re reasons. Mm -hmm. And I will uh, back my reasons with evidence. Yes. Before I become a member of parliament, I used to do business in Kibera, Slump. I used to sell charcoal. And uh, I used to have uh, mobile charging in Kibera. I used to sell in Kibera. And I was uh, an asala in Kibera. I had nothing, had no money, but I grew up from that humble beginning because even in my education, I was educated by a church. People were contributing to take me to school. I had no parents, my parents were not able. And I come from a poor background. But when I bought my first car, KBM 415N, I remember I went with the car, Kibera. And I was driving to near my shop, a picklet ended up behind my car. And people were, oh, oh, we need to burn this car. They wanted to burn my car. In fact, I was saved by the police who were passing by. Because they are saying, they are looking at me, this guy is becoming rich in Kibera. And they decided to tell me, no, this guy should move away from this Kibera. Because I become, they look at me as a rich person. In such a narrative. Now, that's why you saw people are burning cars and saying that, oh, this is a dynasty, this is a dynasty. So I think if UDA want to take leadership of this country, they are fast to do away with that uh, narrative because we are setting people against each other. If you say dynasty and hustler, you are making people, those rich people, to be seen as uh, they are bad people and hustlers are the good people. And you know, we have different classes in this country. We should not divide our people on classes because we, all, we are all Kenyans. And for you to become rich, for me to be hustler, that's a good plan. And you cannot say that if you work hard, you'll come out from that. We need to educate, we need to empower Kenyans. We need to empower these people. Instead of telling them, dynasty are bad, we empower, can we come up with a uh, formula whereby we empower these, these hustlers, empowering them, not setting against the dynasty. Second, when you talk of alliance, the reason why I'm telling you that we cannot run away from uh, alliance in this country. Every community has its own kingpin. And we cannot run away from that. Do you really like want now, to drive that narrative, Mahesha I'm not driving that, but I'm saying, I'm talking of, uh, of this, uh, of this um, um, alliance. When Raila went to Mombasa, he told Mombasa people, you don't need to form a party here because you can be accommodated in ODM. See what happened. When the, the cost supported NASA, 100, almost 100, 90%, they voted for NASA. Immediately after all the, uh, uh, the, nini, the, the appointments and the nini, they went to uh, Kisumu and other areas. But the coast people, they were left the way they are. That's why you see Mombasa people are not happy. And that's why you see there's another party coming up because they have, they have realized that they always support people and after they get what they get, they are left behind. Being in opposition, it's not easy. So, Mashmiwa, because now you're saying that something is cooking for... Um, uh, this new One Kenya Alliance. Mm. If the coast region forms a party, you now take the party leader. No, we, we join not the party leader. We are talking of now we you take become the coast. Five. We we form a coalition. They they are joining us. Also, uh, Central is joining us, and we are working together because we are supporting. Of course, we are supporting the president, and we are working with the president. That's why you see people are now uh, raising eyebrows because they know things are working. And I'm saying uh, it will be a movement. Who do, you think, who do you think the flag bearer is going to be? Um, I don't know. I, I, I think... Um, who do you think is strongest among them? Um, I cannot actually pinpoint who is the strongest because um, looking at uh, numerical strength that mm -hmm. they bring on board uh, going by the 2017 election, you find that uh, if we look at uh, uh, the ODM, uh, sorry, the NASA side, the, the strongest candidate there was uh, Raila Odinga because of his uh, party. He had a national... 
uh, base, support With base. Kalonzo Musioka. Uh, yes. Kalonzo Musioka also was there. He's running mate. Uh, yes, he's running mate. But so Kalonzo Musioka is likely to... You, you see, I know, that's not what I've said. Uh -huh. uh, I, I was just trying to break down the, the coalition that was and their numbers. Uh, so Kalonzo had uh, about, uh, I think, one million votes from uh, the upper and uh, lower eastern region. Uh, Mudava had about uh, 300,000 uh, votes. And then you look at uh, someone like uh, Wetangula ha has about uh, 150,000 from Bungoma uh, area. So uh, looking at them, these, these, these are not uh, numbers you can say they can pull a coalition that can defeat a serious candidate. Um, for example, the UDA candidate. Uh, because of how they have demonstrated their strength, numerical strength that he was talking about, the, the numbers need to be worked on. Uh, he was insisting on tribal numbers, but for me, I was insi insisting on, on 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 numbers that are of people who need to be addressed. Their needs need to be addressed. Uh, I just want to uh, comment on a narrative he has mentioned, and that is the um, the, the Hasla versus the dynasty uh, narrative. Uh, one, there is nowhere where the party leader for or the deemed party leader for UDA has ever mentioned dynasty in his, in his approach uh, or in his campaigns. There's nowhere he has mentioned that. Secondly, there's nowhere he has said that we are pitching the hustlers or the, the, the people at the lower end of the pyramid against the people in the upper end of the pyramid. That has never been part of UDA's manifesto. He, it has never come out. This, um, when these rallies happen, there are people who have taken advantage of that. Of course, in every society, there are criminal elements. And criminal elements have taken this, and they have used it against other Kenyans. Okay? Um, I'm, I'm really sorry about your experience with the Kibera incident, where you, you are amongst them, and uh, uh, they saw you rising, and they felt like you have left them, and uh, I don't know out of what they, they, they decided to go against you. But even in that story, you're also are, are affirming that you can indeed rise from the lower end of the pyramid to the higher end of the pyramid. And that is what the UDA movement is all about. It's about forming policies that is people-centered, whereby solutions are from the bottom to, to, the, to the top. Like, solutions come from the people themselves to the top leadership. It is not the top leadership making the solution and giving them to the people. And that is the mistake with this country for a very long time. We've been trying to sit down making sessional papers, making uh, policy papers in order to help people solve their problems. Yet, the most robust of economies have come through the enterprise of the people itself. So that these people are the ones who push the economy forward. It is not being pushed from the top. It's mm -hmm. being pushed from the from ground. the bottom. And that is let me let me catch you short. Let me catch you short. Would you support a Ruto Ryla Alliance come 2022? SMSs on triple one triple four triple one. Uh, Switch TV Kenya. Alain Kumbongo. Use the hashtag tipping point. We now take a short commercial break. The conversation continues shortly. Welcome back. You're watching TV Point. I'm Lincoln Obogwa. Our sign language interpreters are Michael Maithi and Teresia Washira. My guest tonight, uh, Kaiti Member of Parliament, Joshua Kimilu, and uh, po politician and political expert, oh, Milton Lucheri Fatimagedi, should be joining us in just a moment. We ask you tonight, would you support a Ruto Ryla Alliance come 2022? Would you support a Ruto Ryla Alliance come 2022? SMS is on triple one, triple four, triple one. Let's switch TV Kenya and at Lincoln Obogwa. Remember to use the hashtag tipping point. Does Ruto or Raila Odinga stand a chance against this new alliance? Uh, <clears throat> what I want to say is that um, I don't see the possibilities of Ruto joining uh, Raila or Raila joining Ruto. Reason because if Raila joins Ruto, it means that he goes there as a running mate. Because it's obvious now, uh, Ruto cannot go for number two. Mm -hmm. Obvious. He has to go for number one. So if Raila goes to join Ruto, it means that he has to go uh, to be number two. Again, these two characters are almost the same. Raila and Ruto, they are almost the same. You're trashing the idea of a Raila? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, because both of them, they, 
they fear each other and they know each other very well they have because together they have worked before. together and you remember uh 2008 uh, what happened Raila was working with Ruto and the same same guy Raila uh, he fired Ruto after helping him to campaign and be his uh, royal man and after getting what he got he fired Ruto just imagine the same guy now coming work together is Raila you know, that bad? A, you know Ruto knows that this guy when he comes here but it's politics maybe 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 Ruto Ruto can accept Raila mm -hmm. for him just to jump 2022 but after that Ruto cannot work with Raila I'm telling you the truth <laughs> do you think that's uh, the case yeah um you know in politics there's nothing that uh, happens without it being planned and there is nothing coincidental about politics everything is planned and everything is possible there are no permanent friends there are no permanent enemies mm -hmm. they're only permanent interests so um i would like to draw our attention to what happened in 2007 and uh, um, uh, uhuru was on the uh, t uh, on the opposite side and uh, ruto was in uh, odm and uh, these two could not see eye to eye and uh, to ever imagine that there would be any coalition between the two of them it was impossible it was close to impossible but hey come 2013 the two guys come together and they work very well and in fact they deliver the government to themselves and uh, that told us that indeed there are no permanent friends and there are no permanent enemies advancing the same uh, theory um, uh, Mwishimiwa here says that uh, the, the, their personalities or their idiosyncrasies do not match uh, or they are people who clash with personalities of course uh, that is true you find that uh, uh, Ruto is very aggressive he's a go-getter he's a mobilizer he's a campaigner uh, and on the other side uh, Raila is also of the same caliber he's also an aggressive person a, a mobilizer and uh, is an, an earth mover so uh, bringing those two together might appear to be a clash in personalities and who will be easy or who will be ready to seed for the other that would be the, the big question but it is not to say it is impossible they still could find a way of working out you know we are working under the assumption that uh, Raila would want to run for presidency and Ruto as well would want to run for presidency but in case Raila says I want to work with Ruto but not as a presidential candidate let me name my presidential candidate because that's also a possibility because up to now he has not declared his interest in the top seat so there's still a possibility of them working together in fact uh, the day i think it was yesterday ruto said that i am ready to work with tinga because uh, uh, if he agrees with, with our kind of ideology i'm, I'm ready to work with him and uh, that is just not a statement in the air it is a statement that points to things to come. And then two weeks ago, we saw uh, allies to uh, ODM, to, the, to Raila, having very good conversation with allies to uh, uh, deputy president. And he thinks that's a sign? Of course it's a sign. And uh, I'll, I'll end it by saying what I started with, that nothing happens by chance. It is all planned. Does Ruto or Raila, do they stand a chance against uh, One Kenya Alliance? Uh, most definitely. Um, one Kenya Alliance, if you want to look at n numerical strength, um, starting with 2017 election, the person who brought a lot of votes to NASA coalition was the ODM party. And even th uh, the Secretary General, Edis Edwin Sufuna, made that comment that the big boy cannot bow down to accommodate short people. That is what he said, because he knows that they have the numbers in the, in, in the party. And on the other side, uh, UDA as it stands, it's also a movement that is gathering currency by the day and bringing these two together the only result is uh, a tsunami that, that a tsunami become, yeah the only result is a tsunami yeah. <laughs> mm. before, before, before I come to you uh, Joshua mm. Malala was ousted replaced by uh, Senator Kazar mm. now Mazaya sorry let's take a look at what, at what you partly the Galonzo Musioka had to say about this And in politics, these are some of the sacrifices that are made. Senator Malala has stood out as one of the most promising young Kenyan leaders. I saw him on the ground in Matungu and fearless 
stand strong and fearless. So why should anybody be punished for being straight, fearless? Moshe Miwa, is this official? You're not, you, your relationship with ODM is over? Um, I cannot say that uh, it's over until it's over. Because in politics, the last minute counts. And there's something I want to, uh, to say is that um, in politics, there are so many uh, situations can force some alliances. Like now, uh, if you hear these guys are uh, talking, uh, like my party leader, Kalonzo Musyoka, honestly, Malala is coming out a uh, brilliant guy and is coming out to be, uh, the guy has a, a charisma and is coming out uh, strongly. And that's why you see Laila wants to kill that guy uh, politically because he's seeing there's something coming there and he's seeing but the why? Murembe, Murembe uh, uh, is coming strong. Mm -hmm. So he wants to weaken so that he can, has, uh, he can have a way. But now Kenyans have become, uh, Kenyans are wise nowadays. You cannot fool them because they know what is going on. Don't think that we are fools. We are still watching. Remember I told you in 2017 we had a MOU and we agreed on how we'll share this and this and, and this. this is Raila and ODM and you're addressing now. Yeah, but now there's something I want you to know. If you want to see, or if you want to know what Laila is thinking, listen to uh, Kinanani, Kinam Sifuna and uh, those guys of uh, Junet. If you want to know what uh, Ruto is thinking, listen to Kinasuti and Kinam Murkomen. You know in politics, you cannot say Kalos is not saying this, but listen to his people. You know the mind of Kalonzo. So what I'm saying is that uh, what is cooking now is that Raila has realized that he's losing the ground. That's why you see he's trying to give that uh, post to cost because he wants to tell them, oh, guys, I'm still with you. Come here. I'm, I remember you are my people. Because he went there for five days and he found that the ground is not with them. And now he's trying to see how he can consolidate. But what I'm saying, one thing I want to, uh, I want to mention here is that um, all these leaders, they, we, we, we know their records. They have records. We know Ruto. Yes, Ruto, we know him. And uh, we have his fights. We know how or things he did when he was in the government for the last eight years now. He has been in the government eight years. Now you are telling people that you'll make sure that the poor people, will, you'll give them 100 million like CDF and you are in the government. Now, why can't you do it now, not tomorrow? Because you are the government, you are number two. And you have the power to do that. If you cannot do it now, you are the government. How will you do it in the future? It is impossible. So these are politics, and I want to say that uh, Kenyans are wise and they are watching. Uh, remember what they did to Machakos? Something when the UDA, I don't know the kind of uh, policies they do. You see what they were doing. They took Kavindu's uh, children and tell them to say that um, our mother is bad, you do all this, this. And for the leaders, that is uh, the last thing that a leader can do. Because you need, we need to protect families. We need to bring the families together. Instead of trying to make them separate, as leaders, this is not the campaign we want. Kenyans want a peaceful campaign. They want a leaders who fear God like Alonso Musioka and people who can unite this country. And I'm telling you, people who can unite this country is this team in one alliance. But why did you, why did you even float Kavindu in the first place? <laughs> why did you float Kavindu in the first place? He's the best candidate. was the best candidate, Kavindu. Didn't you have that in mind? You know you're yes. going to wreck a family. You remember apart. Kalendo was a candidate. A color was a candidate and a Kavindu. Wasn't there any other So person? we wait because Kavindu was there. And again, we believe on women also. That's why I'm telling you this alliance is a line to watch. Because we believe in women also. That's why we wanted, now you see what he did after Kavindu. You know now the Senate, they met the two gender that rule. So already now uh, from our, our knee, our party, wiper. We have meant something. If because one alliance, Mwesheme, who really believes in women and girl power, why don't you have a single woman in there? Martha Karua, Charity Tingilu, you have none. It's all men. But you have Charity Tingilu. There? Yes. As one and others principles. are coming. And others are there. Others are there. You know, now it's the beginning of things. I'm telling you, we are a few months old. You know, you cannot compare now. You, you see, Ruto started 20, 20, 2018. It's only Ruto started the campaigning. And he was on a, a one-man show. But I'm telling you, by August, and I want to come back to this station by August, and you come and tell me. What's going to happen? I'm telling you, we are eating the ground. 
What's going to happen? Start in August, I call you back. I'm telling you the, 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 the ground will move and support this uh, alliance. Richard, you have something to add? <laughs> yeah, I really love the optimism that uh, Moshimiwa exudes here. Uh, that uh, one Kenya alliance is going to be the alliance to watch. But, you know, they also say that the higher they climb, the harder they fall. So... Um, what does that mean? Uh, it In just, regards to this? It, it just means that uh, Mushimua should not be very confident about this particular um, uh, alliance that uh, they are formed. Uh, because uh, there are many things that have not yet been agreed upon. Um, there are issues to do with... Uh, uh, flag bearer, issues to do with the uh, allocation of resources, issues to do with uh, party seats and those kind of things. You know, those are the contentious issues where actually determines whether a coalition will stand or it will fall. And one of the reasons, uh, NASA at some point almost collapsed because of this issue of resource allocation. They had to enter into a pre-election agreement to say that once we seek, once we get power, we will give you this, this and this, the, the funds that come from the National Treasury. As, uh, according to the Political Parties Act. But when these funds came in, you find that ODM somehow held, held to the, on to this money. And uh, that is why uh, WIPE and the rest are very bitter. They are very bitter uh, c c uh, partners in this particular alliance because of the, where the rubber meets the road in coalitions. One Kenya alliance right now, they are still um, uh, basking in the glory of honeymoon. But now once that goes, then they will have to deal with the real issues. Party seats in the parliament, nomination slots, the, the finances and all those kind of but things. But it seems and that while Odinga was a problem in Nasser. Yes. Now that is, one, that is, that the is, alliance is not there. You know, what, that is what uh, they, they, are, they are advancing. They are advancing that um, Arela was the issue. But uh, I also believe that these uh, partners are learned and they had to engage uh, uh, candid and uh, competent lawyers so that any pre-election pact is followed to the letter. I, 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 I suspect that even that document was not registered with the register of political parties. That is why um, <coughs> Raila's party could afford to do the kind of gemmendering they did with them. Uh, that is one. Second, I would like just to advise them that even as you, as you form this po uh, political uh, uh, one, lion, one Kenya alliance, just make sure that you, you look at those things so that uh, we do not have this kind of a scenario whereby you come and wail again in maybe in 2020. That is to anyone now who wants to form a coalition. E exactly, including the one and That is free advice. Yeah, that's just free advice. Now, so that, yeah. on, on, on the Senator Malala's uh, ouster, what do you take of that? Um, uh, it is a knife is that what, cuts both ways. Is it what uh, Moshmiro Joshua said? I, I partly agree with him uh -huh. uh, because uh, ODM is sort of... Uh, kicking back. It is just retaliating because of what happened in Matungu. You find that uh, uh, they filed David Were to be their candidate and um, ANC filed uh, Nabulindo and uh, David Were uh, failed miserably. And so it is perceived that ANC was fighting uh, uh, Raila. So it was just a way of uh, fighting uh, ANC back and, uh, and uh, the other partners. But also, the other thing is that uh, what ODM doesn't know, it is they are making uh, ANC a very strong party in the sense that they have acknowledged that they have the muscles, they have the political clout in their support base. So by them removing Malala, they are just acknowledging the opposite. So it is a two-way traffic for them. Yeah. Mm. Mushmi, you, you want to add something to I, I, I just, no, I want just to answer him. There's something he said uh, that um, the problem with the one alliance it will be on sharing of many of the seats in the parliament and sharing of power in short. But I want to I want him to be informed that uh, one advantage of this alliance is the people who are not greedy. People who are putting the Kenya first, then they come second. And our problem has gone. Our problem was the ODM. ODM was because greedy. they wanted everything ODM and they want to put Kenya doors. first and they no 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 they are selfish because they want to take everything they just want to be to bulldoze everybody and i'm telling you uh you'll see how things will work now uh, and uh in yes. the, and our alliance for your for your uh, for, uh, for your information i want to uh tell him that um this team is not greedy and uh sharing of power is not to be a problem 
because whoever will be fronted will support. Whoever out of this alliance who will be fronted will support. But I want to tell you something, a secret. This is a secret. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Kalonzo will be the, problem, uh, the, the president, next president in this country. Kalonzo will be the fifth president of Kenya. Of, of Kenya. We but can take that Mbuku, that's where yeah. the problem is. But now, but now, that's a secret. That is where the problem is. Don't tell anybody on that. You see, What's because, the he's, with that? because, because he's, um, from Wiper. he's from Waipa, uh -huh. he's uh, uh, fronting his candidate that he will be the president. You say and if we had a Mwishmiya from Kanu, yeah. uh, he'd tell us that, you know, Gideon, Gideon Moe is going Moe to would be the president. president. So what happens if um, one of the, uh, the candidates they are really fronting to be candidate is not picked? What happens? And that's where problems begin. And that's why I say it. Mm. Let them still bask in the honeymoon stage right now. But when the rubber hits the road, I don't think the coalition will stand. This coalition will stand. It Maybe is not the right time. It is not the right time to front a candidate now. More are coming. And they still uh, need. We are uh, our, the field is open, so we are still waiting. And I remember, I declared, whoever will be fronted will support. Now, BBI, Uhuru and Raila Odinga came together, the steps of Arambe House. Then BBI was formed. Uhuru and Raila championed this BBI. You uh, have distanced yourself as one alliance from Raila Odinga's ODM. Raila Odinga's ODM through NASA and Uhuru Kenyatta, Jubilee, the, the, the handshake, then the BBI, Uhuru Kenyatta. You, you seem to support Uhuru Kenyatta and the BBI. You don't seem to support Raila Odinga, but you support the BBI. Yes. Now, does Uhuru Kenyatta, because Kalonzo and uh, Gideon support the government, and that is Uhuru Kenyatta, does Uhuru Kenyatta support One Alliance? Um, let me talk about the BBI, because I support BBI. And I support BBI with the reasons because I, I there are so many. Uh, I can say seventy percent of that document is good, although there are some things which I, I cannot say that uh, I cannot um, agree on. Agree on, but uh, with a document like that one, it can't be hundred percent obvious. But I want to say that um, you know, let me go back to the, the, the ODM. They are becoming cry babies. They were saying no one can spot, uh, uh, stop uh, Reke. But now, they are the one interfering with this document. You hear Orengo saying that, oh, what do we you need. Mean? Yes, they are the one interfering with the document. How we so? are clever, we know all these things. In the How parliament, so? we were on Tuesday, we were waiting the, the bill to be tabled. Uh -huh. uh, and the chairman say, oh, there are some things we need experts. Experts for what now? Does Uhuru Kenyatta support one, one Kenya lands? Yes, he supports. He does? <laughs> he supports. Because, you know, action can talk. Action can talk. For your information, mm -hmm. the same, same ODM, they're the one killing the BBI. Because now they are saying, oh, we are losing, we are, um, our people are not benefiting from this document. So they are playing uh, tactics to delay the document. You know, you cannot go on a referendum uh -huh. uh, 12 months uh, uh, to election, according to the law. So what they want, they are, tr uh, they, are, they are working on tactics whereby, because they don't want to accept that BBI cannot work, because they are fearing, because Ruto was telling them, uh, <laughs> so Baba, <laughs> Baba said, you yeah. know, not once, not twice, so many times, mm -hmm. nothing can stop reggae. Mm -hmm. Do you think what uh, Joshua is saying is true? I, I think Baba will have to review that statement. Uh, because he said that in the past, uh -huh. but now called to those words again, I, w I highly doubt that he will say that. Uh, this is owing to the fact of the many developments that have happened in the recent past uh, of our political history. Uh, first of all, you have uh, the ODM brigade uh, starting to accuse uh, Uhuru Kenyatta and his side, uh, especially the people close to him. They are saying that uh, they this are, are your frustrating. Final this are your final words. Okay? Yes, they are frustrating the process, you know, so they start exchanging. So they say that uh, when a crocodile comes, when an alligator comes from water and tells you that the crocodile is sick, mm -hmm. will you doubt that? Of course you can't doubt that. So we know for sure that there's trouble w within the handshake, and it is the handshake that gave birth to BBI. To BBI. So that's one. Secondly, uh -huh. my personal opinion, I was against this document from the word go. Why? Because 90% of its content is nothing new. It can still be implemented in the Constitution as it is, as we have it. One of the issues, for example, the Youth Commission, 
They are saying, once this BBI passes, we will establish a youth commission. Youth commission, how will it operate differently from the youth fund, WESO fund that we have, youth enterprise fund, um, and all those funds that look at women and, and youth? So this youth commission thing is a, is a facade. Thank that you. is one. Th thank you, Lucheri, but we are, we, we've run out of time. <laughs> Kimilu, do you want to tell me another secret? Uh, no, no. What I can say is that um, I'm a, I was elected as a youth mm -hmm. in this country, mm -hmm. and I want to encourage the young people. If they have a chance, they can become members of parliament, they can hold posts in this country. Like now, as I'm speaking now, I have a bill in the parliament. Once you go to KYPA, Young Parliamentary Association, I'm one of the members of parliament who came up with a bill, which is now is second reading mm -hmm. for social workers, and uh, we need to support youth. And I support you. Tell me a secret. There's no other secret. Thank you, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Uh, Political quote of the day. Politics, it seems to me, for years or all too long ago, has been concerned with right or left instead of right or wrong by Richard Armour. Well, uh, the views described in the show are strictly individual views and do not portray the views of Switch TV. The conversation continues next Thursday. I am Lincoln Ombogo. My guest tonight were Kaiti Member of Parliament, Joshua Kimilu and uh, Lucheri. Yes. Milton Lucheri, Milton a politician Lucheri. and political expert. Or sign language interpreters, Michael Matha, Teresi Washira. My producers, Frederick Muitiriri, Clifford Duby and Daniel Karaoke. Many thanks. The conversation continues next Thursday. Good evening.